Good morning, Stephanie Cameraman, the Stock Whisperer, here to tell you the whisper of the day. But before we get to today's whisper, you know it, we got to talk about yesterday's whisper. So yesterday we were watching gold, we were watching GDX, particularly this 1880 level. We were bearish below, you can see she made a move down in the beginning of the morning, about 20 cents, but then could not hold below it. And if you recall, the big level we were watching on IAU, remember that 10 million print level from back February 2nd? Guess what? We went right there, tested it, and she bounced off. So moving forward, definitely continue to watch this 1085. That computer is still buying even after almost a year, still buying at that particular level. However, if it does not hold in the future, remember $10.70 is that other dark pool level that they were buying back at the end of January. Uh, we we're also watching yesterday ON Semiconductor after spotting gazillion prints at a $12.93 and $12.96. And uh, you can see it really hasn't moved much, all right? So this is still in waiting, but remember, MU is coming out with earnings after the close, okay? So they're both semis, can both get affected, so be careful. Now, MU doesn't really have that much volume this morning, so really hard to see where the buyers or sellers are, but I could tell you that it trades really well on the quarters, Okay, the quarter increments. So 2025 is a really big support level. 2050, 2075, 21 is the big level. If she can break above this during the day, there's a lot of room to go on the upside. However, do not hold into earnings, all right? That would be gambling, so be careful on that. But there could be a lot of great volatility. So yesterday uh, was a pretty sideways day for the SPY. And you can see it's really been going nowhere, but big, massive prints have been coming into the SPY. All these blue lines that I've drawn on my chart, these are all the dark pool recent levels. So lots of volume has been coming in. Get prepared for a big move, and we're gonna use these levels as markers. Now the big, the big level really is 225. If we close below that level, we would be going below all of this dark pool action if we close below here, all right? So that's really gonna be the major level moving forward. And then of course, if we close above all these guys, we're gonna be bullish. So again, use them as markers. We were trading, uh, oh, FCX yesterday was a fantastic call out uh, by Cameron. We spotted really nice buy prints two days in a row coming in at $13.61. So Keep your eye on that level. In fact, I'm just gonna draw, draw a line right here. We're gonna be bullish as, uh, as long as it stays above 1361. If it closes below 1350, I'll turn bearish once again on FCX. We also spotted some prints two days ago at that level as well. So she looks like she's moving up. There's gonna be some resistance. A lot of us are in this. There's gonna be resistance at about 1450. But if she can break above that 8 EMA on the daily chart, lots of room to run. And of course, we'll see what prints are coming in there. So we were rocking FCX yesterday, and I was actually rocking uh, LOW, another great uh, call out by, uh, by Cameron yesterday. Thank you. I had a great trade on this. But the trade of the day yesterday goes to Dave Friday. Dave Friday put together a really great group of traders last night. I did a special online webinar for them how to make a day's pay before you go to work so uh thank you dave so much uh for uh for putting that together and uh look forward to to helping your group trade around these dark pool prints all right so you know what are we watching today i'm going to be honest with you guys i don't really like too much at all however 
EWZ for you Canadians, Z for you Americans. EWZ. This guy had a massive print yesterday on it. Let me show you. 1.7 million traded at 31.30 and another million at 31.25. All right, another print at uh, 31.35. So this is a massive level. If EWZ falls below, all right, 31.30 in particular, really 31.20, uh, I'm going to be very bearish on it. So I'm watching these levels. Sometimes it takes a couple days or a day or two to really pick a direction, but definitely watch that. And uh, we'll be trading MU today, uh, but again, only day trading. So come watch me trade these stocks and so many more. We'll see what prints come in today at the Java Pit Trading Room at www.thestockwhisperer.com. Happy trading, everybody. Turns